Hello? Hello? I like a loo. It's a funny, it's a funny emote. It's just a little Pepe with the, with the phone. It's a good one. You know, you know, chat. Today has been a, um, it's been a difficult time for for Bricky in terms of the stuff to play. We uh, we've done a whole lot of of work in terms of um, uh, in terms of like YouTube stuff today, and we're adding uh, even more to it. Um, it's, uh, it was like, you know, all right, we're going to film some videos, good stuff like that. Uh, and then it was like, Hey, what's up? Um, Frostpunk 2 beta's out. Whoa. And then after that, then they're like, RoboQuest, brand new content. I'm like, Whoa. And like, what's that? The new major dark tide updates coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Great. Lovely. Just. Just a, just a never-ending amount of content, all deciding to arrive at the exact same time. It's like uh, what Yoshi P said regarding the Final Fantasy XIV expansion pack. Elden Ring DLC. Not gonna do that. Also, Binks, you killed a man. Why'd you do that? You're happy, stop pretending. I mean, like, I'm not, like, unhappy. It's just, you know, like, whenever there's a brand new launch for a game, it's, it's like an equal part excitement and annoyance. Because on one hand, it's like, oh, yeah, let's go, new game, woo! But on the other hand, it's like, oh, God, like, like now, it's like, um, you know, it's, it's like when you, it's like a new, it's another part of your job. It's another part of your job. It's time for, it's time to, to go to work again, you know? So it's a little bit, of, a little bit of both, but it's, it's worse when they all come out at the exact same time. You know, like, damn it, you couldn't have at least like tiered it, couldn't have at least like spaced that shit out. You know, a little bit of here, there, and everywhere. I'm wait, I'm just waiting for Balotro to drop like a brand new update tomorrow as well, and then, and then, uh, then, then, then I'm totally screwed. At least other video games have the audacity to give Elden Ring DLC a wide berth. Thank God for that. <laughs> but, um... Alright, well, chat, hold on. I'm gonna go get my bagel out of the toaster and then uh, bring it over here and then we're gonna start. Ugh. Penis. Right. We return. Hey, oh, don't forget about that coal, though. That's right. That's the way. That's how we're doing this today. We're making sure we get coal stuff. All right. Where's, where's your bricky? 
Hey, chat, it's a me, a Mario, or uh, some kind of brick-related substance, something or another. How you doing? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Welcome, chat. Welcome to the stream. Life is good. Things are solid. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some um some some stuff. Uh, thanks for the resubs, everybody. Shepherd of Sauce is a prime sub as well. Appreciate all of you. Um, Bricky, damn it! Why is every one of your viewers also watch a VTuber? Yeah, it doesn't really make much sense. Um, but if you're asking one of my viewers watch VTubers, probably because I've been collabing with them a significant amount recently. Who knows, truly? Who could possibly actually know? Uh, Frostpunk 2 beta is happening. Um, so I actually got a, a key for this from the devs. Devs were very um, nice to provide me with one. Like, hey, here's a brand new key. Uh, brand new, you know, like, uh, you know, it's a brand new key. It's a key to play the game, a key to play the beta. So I got a key for it. Um, I haven't seen, I only saw a couple of trailers for Frostpunk 2. I spit out a piece of raisin. Um, uh, a couple of trailers for it. And that's about it. Um, I'm a little, maybe I'm a little skeptical. Uh, and just, just because like Frostpunk was such a, was such a neat idea. And, and I worry how much of that, this is like, I don't know, like, you know, new game, make a sequel, you know, kind of thing. So I'm a little like, I'm going to go into it with pretty standard expectations. Um, so we'll see it. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, uh, but yeah, here's, here's the, here's the bagel chat. Bricky, your glutes are looking shapely and taut. One day, Aiden. One day, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to kill you, in chat. One day, I'm going to defeat you, and the evil will be removed. Mm hmm. One day. Mm hmm. Me when I get you. So. But yeah, we'll see how the game turns out. I mean, you know, I was a gigantic fram, fran, nice, gigantic fan of uh, Frostpunk. Um, the the first game was incredible. I, I genuinely loved it, and um, you know, we'll just see how it turns out. We'll just see how it turns out. Uh, so uh, so yeah, we'll uh, slap it on, turn it on, see how see how it rolls. Hopefully, it's good. Maybe, maybe, you know, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly how, uh, how strong it'll be as a title, but it's, uh, um, are the DLC, right? Yeah, so the DLC for Frostpunk was, it was a hit or miss. The last autumn was incredible, and, like, the Dreadnought one was decent. Some of them were a little bit mid. Uh, they were a little bit meh. Some were just really, really good. Last autumn in particular was the best DLC by a country mile. Genuinely a great, great option. I mean, that, that, that cover art goes pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. That, that, that title screen goes extremely hard. Hmm. That looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, damn. The dude's mask behind the front, guys. Hold on. Good start. <laughs> oh, it's loud because I, I turned it up for you all. Sorry, I, I turned it up so it would it would match my volume a little bit. All right. So 
It appears. All right, you know, I'm gonna finish my damn bagel, so I'm not just chewing the entire time, and then and then we'll start. So I guess the story is not available in the beta. Makes sense. So Utopia Builder Preview is what we're gonna be playing. Hmm. I think it'll be uh. It's got the. I mean, like, I'm trying to think. How how long did Frostpunk one come out? It was a bit ago, right? I don't remember how long? Twenty eighteen. Wow, that's six years. That's six years. Holy shit! Twenty eighteen is six years ago. Well, um, okay, so, you know, tack on about two more years for DLC creation and stuff like that. And if they did go straight to developing Frostpunk 2 after that, then we've got about four years of game? Okay. I I'm, I'm figuring out, like, development time and just, like, you know, I, I really want this to be genuinely a, a solid, like, sequel game and not just a Frostpunk 1 sold really well and got critical acclaim, so now we're making a Frostpunk 2 kind of thing. So, I'm curious. Oh. I'm gonna look at the devs. Oh, 11 bit studio is the public, is the, the dev team as well? So, so 11 bit studios is the publisher, but also the dev team. Because they're also a, um, a, a, a publisher too. So it says here games developed by 11 bit studios. So, it's a, okay, so it's a bunch of, it's like a, a, the Anomaly game, then it's this War of Mine, then Frostpunk, and now Frostpunk 2. And they're also developing a separate game called The Altars. Um, but, uh, so it looks like they're going straight from Frostpunk to Frostpunk 2. Alright, neat, neat, let's see it. So, Utopia Builder Preview. Out of the exp uh, icy apocalypse into a f hopeful future, leave the city... Survive, grow, expand, and prosper. Can you build a world worth living in? This preview has been limited in scope. No story mode available. This game is a work in progress. Bugs crash the place where it may appear. Playthrough is capped at 300 weeks. Okay. So, we have a couple maps. We have Horizon, Windswept Peaks, Broken Shore, Fractured Gorge. And then... There's an Ambition... Interesting. So you've got, you've got, uh, what is this? You've got various ambitions. So you've got, you've got like colonization, establish a food colony, and then utopia. Okay. So colonization, clearly. Fractur fractured gourd. Oh, sorry. I'm covering over it. Sorry. My bad. It's, um, it's like, just different ambitions to get, like, establish a colony, that kind of shit. Um, so, the front disfigured this area, but it was chosen for easy access. To geothermal energy, it lacks other fuels. Variety of key resources. Place was well, judged well protected from the elements with relatively easy access to key resources. Okay, so it seems like Wimswept Peaks is the easier one, so I'm going to go with that one. Uh, communities, machinists and foragers, workers and merchants, lords and thinkers, random. I kind of want to do random. It's kind of... Oh, not available in this preview. Shit. We'll do Machinists and Foragers, then. Difficulty, we'll do Medium. I'm assuming the other ones are... Extreme is not there. We'll, do, we'll just do Medium. Alright. Let's see. Work in progress. Etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, you know the shtick. Holy shit, hello. 
Jesus. <laughs> Hello. A new oh, I'm uh I'm covering your I'm I'm covering the place. Hold up. I might need to find a better spot for myself. I don't know where to put myself. The end of the world changes people. It changed us. Us, the foragers, natural survivors adapted to harsh frostland conditions. The machinists, the descendants of groups that built the initial cities and maintained their machinery. We chose you as our steward uh, to lead the population, the city as overpopulation looms and resources dwindle. We all dream of a better future. What it should look like, this we can't agree on. Tensions stir and radicals rear their heads. Navigating this will... Uh, navigating this will be your ultimate challenge. Let's prove you of Utopia Builder and Mother's Captain 300 Weeks. The city must not fall. Okay. Okay. Oh, yo, what's up, Mata? We're doing... We're gaming. Windswept Peaks. Colonize the Frostland. Coal is running out. Oh, no. This soon? This soon? You have to hit me with it like that? No, we forgot about it. We forgot about the coal. I specifically warned you about this. I specifically warned you. We have grown numerous over the years and awaited and waited too long to strike out. Our coal stockpiles are nearly depleted. We have to colonize the Frostland. But first, we located some coal deposits. Uh, in rough terrain around the city, we must send frost breaking crews to access them. We need more coal. Okay, pause is still the same. Dang, okay. Okay. Ah, damn. That's uh That's pretty good. The the way the the way the map looks, it's pretty. I um I don't like the UI, <laughs> I won't lie. The UI looks like Microsoft Windows movie player. I don't like that much, uh, but everything else so far is pretty cool looking. Okay, so we have our uh, our dates up, up here. Um, and then access a coal deposit using frost breakers. Time of 39 weeks, construct an extraction district on the coal deposit. Frost breaking. Teams of workers with heavy equipment breaking ice and preparing grounds so the city can ex be expanding. Can expand. Okay, so we need coal. Oh my god. Okay. Coal. Cold miner growing extremely increased by shelter scarcity. So that's frozen forest, frozen forest, frozen forest, frozen forest. So I'm assuming... Where's coal? Way station, iron... Shallow coal deposit right there. Okay. Hey, Stunsee, thanks for the resub. Or no, the prime sub. Okay. Do I like? Oh, you have to, you do a whole area. Okay, okay. So that's frost breaking. Frost break new area. Construct new buildings, and then construct districts and hubs. Okay. Air transport hub, food district, extraction district, industrial district. Okay, this. Uh, clearly, because we're we're not clearly because we're doing this whole new thing, the tutorial is not in because it's the beta. So I'm going to let it play out. So we're we're currently going here. I'm assuming folks will. Oh shit! It's like a bunch of drillers. Oh yeah, it's a bunch of yo. It's it's the 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 cod zombies moon extractors. Tutorial is in. It's the question mark on the right. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, I kind of thought they would start telling me to do things as we went. Oh, never mind. Uh, oh, I was thinking I was thinking more of like a slow input of the building. 
Ah, yeah, this will work for fine. I'm sure the the story mode will have a bit more of that going on because then I can like see more of it. This is this is just like this feels more like tooltips. Uh, it's fine. Initially, you can only build districts in a limited area. The wire terrain is covered by stiff, frozen ground, which is impossible to construct upon. To widen the buildable area, you'll need to use frost breakers. Set up frost breaker teams by clicking in areas. Then you'll find your way towards the edge of the buildable area and click on the white tiles into the indicator circle. Frost breaking cost is fixed, and unless there are no more tiles to click, the amount of tiles needed to begin frost breaking is always the same. Okay. Economy. There are heat stamps. Are a stockable stockpile resource that can be spent on frost breaking, constructing districts or buildings, or when using specific actions. It's actions now. A city collects heat stamps weekly. Every community provides its share depending on size, but the community more to contribute. So I'm assuming this is um, these are my taxes, heat stamps in a way. Uh, in, 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 a, in a way, you can also request or donate heat stamps to communities and fa factions. Ooh, okay, okay. Camera controls. That's fine. This is all fine. Buildings. You may construct buildings if there are any empty building slots available inside them. Buildings have the demand and output, which are added to an already existing economy of a district. Right, demand and then output. Oh, so we have demand now. Do we have demand in the in the original game? I think the demand was that was like the the area had a certain it wasn't there was no real demand. The demand was that you needed to heat the area that they were in. So in a sense the demand was the was just the 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 terrain. So I guess like kind of sort of but not really. So this is like a genuine demand. District construct. This is the base of your city's economy. Build them as to produce or process resources. Provide shelter or recruit frostland teams. Districts have a fixed number of tiles and you begin to structure. When you build a district, you'll look at the indicator circle, see what tiles you need to click on. Interesting. Okay, so let's let's let the frost breaking continue. So where we're at, we're at heat. Okay, so there's that done. Construct an extraction district on the coal deposit. Okay. So that's so so now we're moving on with that. Ongoing construction. Requirements, 600 able-bodied people. Coal remaining, 450,533 weeks. Total output, 120 coal. Total demand, 50 materials demand. Whatever that means. So there's the machinist community, the forger's community, and then tension. Marginally increased by minor crime. Marginally increased by minor coal. Shelter from cold. Good. We secured a new source of coal for the generator, but now we need shelter. Without it, people will still freeze to death regardless of how hot the generator runs. Yes. The closer to the generator or other shelter, the better. We cannot afford to lose more heat than we have. We will provide shelter. Okay. I'll construct two housing districts. We want the housing districts close to the generator, naturally. So how many tiles do you require? Three, four, five. Maybe it's not a good idea to run them in circles like that. I'm gonna do it anyway, though. I, I uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. No, we have, we have to. We have to figure it out. So it's only negative four Fahrenheit outside, and this not that cold, honestly. No, it's negative 20 Celsius. At least on the top right. Oh, is oh oh oh. Are, are you saying that negative force at Fahrenheit is the conversion of negative 20 Celsius? I mean, it, that's it's it's pretty damn cold. 
I mean, it's pretty fucking cold. It's it's not negative 140 Celsius like at the end of Frostpunk one, but uh, it's it's you know it's not great, <laughs> but it's better than 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 you know nothing. Okay, use warmth from the central district or another housing by constructing housing in close proximity. So this is the central district, just the central district, uh, which is the generator, which I'm imagining I can turn on and off. Oh God. Um, fuel mix 70 coal converts into one heat. And I can- oh, I can overdrive, that's right. Strains in the process can be turned on safely for 30 weeks. Right, we can overclock it. Yeah, we can- we can overclock it. Also, uh, Missile, thanks for the three gifted subs as well, appreciate ya. Also, Nil Wafer, thanks for the bits also. Depends on the country, I guess, and they give 20s typical winter here. Yeah, but like this is this is like the beginning of Frostpunk the game. <laughs> the people running around with the little the orange is kinda neat. It's got it got a got a bit they've gone a little bit farther with the, the punk theme to it. Is this sponsored? Nope. Uh, I, I have to, in order, if I'm sponsored by something, I have to put it, like, like, legally, I have to be, like, ad or, or sponsored by. If I don't, then it's not sponsored. Oh, I heard that. Shelter. Your population needs shelter to survive, if not provide coal, will aggressively rise in the city. Shelter is uh, main, mainly provided by housing districts, but remember that this type of district demands heat. The heat demand in the city is not fulfilled. Coal will rise, but at a lower rate. Okay, so it's a little bit less like... It seems like it's less split up. Instead of like, oh, this area is freezing and this area is fine. It's just in general, like, you have hot and you've got cold. Kind of, it seems like it's pushing more towards like a, like a macro style. Also, thanks, clean yourself with the resub. Outputs and demands, right, obviously we know what outputs and demands are. The generator, your fuel is coal, but later in the game you can reach and discover different types of fuel which vary in efficiency. Hmm. Yeah, it feels more like big picture in a way. Which, hey, no issues with that. Securing security for the future. Steward, we are extracting more coal than we currently need to provide adequate. This reminds me of home. <laughs> because it's that cold? Maybe. Also, Ratchet, thanks for the tier one sub. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, all right, so we'll be extracting. You know what I like? I like that they gave us a name. Because before you were just like the leader or something. I am steward. It's a good, it's a good name for it. You can, it's, it's all. Uh, we are extracting more coal than we currently need to provide adequate heat to the city. As such, we have begun to stockpile the surplus. At the moment, we have ample storage space left. However, this space will eventually be filled and any additional coal be left out in the elements, rendering it worthless. Oh, were you called the captain in the first one? I guess you were right. I think you're right. Okay, I like steward more than captain. It sounds better to me. It feels like, you know, you're being stewarded. You know, it, it, and I, it sounds better. Uh, if we don't know which server, yeah, we have build more deposits. Looming cold. That that's a great fo God. The frostpunk art goes so hard. Um, uh, as the cold problem in our city continues to worsen, we must take action to protect our citizens. Uh, in these harsh conditions, people need a roof over their heads. If current methods are, do we need to extract more fuel? Our current methods aren't. Cold has risen to a concerning level. So wait, hold on one second. There's an empty building slot in the extraction district. Demolish, expand. Ext exp uh, then the, the district is, oh my God, Bricky. Extend the district to increase its output and provide one more building slot. Cost 50 heat stamps, which is, where's my heat stamps? Up here, so I get 11 a week currently. Okay. But then you can make you can make buildings, and so here are the buildings. At the current moment, all we have is the food depot. The housing is being built right now, so you can put a food. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 yo, got that bloom. 
Interesting. So yeah, each district has its own doodad instead. So here's what's currently going on. Cold is notable. Oh, wait, look. Oh, that's actually badass. Here are your problems, right? Hunger, absent. We're chillin'. Uh, squalor, absent. Also chillin'. Uh, disease, minor. But you see it's got a little bit of like that, 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 um, like, uh, that little, that, I don't know what the way. It's got the, the, ma the running mascara kind of vibe to it, right? And then you've got crime, also minor. So it's very light. But cold is getting a bit worse. It's getting notable. So it's, it's got that drag on the bottom. That's a, okay, that's a, that's good. I'm I'm not huge on the on the Windows Movie Player UI. I don't like the color very much. I think it lacks a lot of the Frostpunk One aesthetic. Um, but that right there is baller as shit. That's cool. Okay, so, oh shit, we need to construct two housing districts. Oh ball sack. All right. Uh, number two. Uh, you know we'll put it over here. Yeah, the, the 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 original Frostpunk UI had a lot more uh, like gears and stuff, a lot like clunkier, and I kind of liked it a bit more. Okay, I'm not gonna build any other buildings yet. Um, I'm gonna wait on that. Uh, just because uh, the game is kind of like teaching me, so I'm just gonna let it roll. Nice, nice. Also, thanks for the resub, Starred Hammers, Leo, and Divine Guide. Scraping the barrel. With heat from the generator and shelter for everyone, we're safe from the cold for now. But as the city grows, it will not be enough. The machinists and foragers have different opinions on how, oh boy, on how to improve the city further. We need a place to develop ideas for the future. Expand a housing district to provide more space for advanced buildings and build a research institute. 21 more people sick and unable to work in the city. Oh, so wow. Okay, wait. So this is very macro scale. Yeah, okay. They, we've, we've zoomed out quite a bit. Unresolved problems in the city can make part of a workforce absence. These workers are temporarily excluded from your workforce. Sick and injured. Oh yeah, I've got I've got four thousand no thirty eight hundred people. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Alright, so so we've we've moved from um the the city builder to like the the, the state builder, like the cunt the county. Uh better yeah, this feels a little bit more like 4 xy Yeah, that's neat. Okay. So workforce. 3,800 total, 1,000 employed. 40, oh, 4,800. Okay, okay, okay. What else do we got here on the tutorial? Area effects. Districts as area effects may give them positive or negative effect. Oh, like close to the, to the generator. Gotcha, gotcha. Expanding districts, scale in terms of size and capabilities. Um... So the district to open its panel and click the expand button and new tiles are chosen and then you can add new buildings. Nice Apart from heat, steam, shelter, guard squads and frost guard squads. And frostland teams can be stockpiled. Right. Okay, so housing buildings, research institute. So does my so there's an empty building slot here do i need to click on it or hold on so central district empty building slot is there a particular reason why i cannot place it there unlocks the idea tree each institute improves speed You have to expand a city district to add it? Yeah, yeah, I know, but I it's I assume that that would give me another building slot. I'm trying to put it in the central district. You have no slot base. 
you add to the city district? Yeah, I guess I guess maybe the generator. Well, it says empty building slot. Maybe maybe it's a, a, a different thing. Maybe maybe it's something else. Okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll go with the housing district first. You will get a special building for the central place soon. Oh, 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 it's linked to a special building. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so we'll expand the housing area. Okay, three up. Build a research institute. Research coal mines. Oh, maybe it just specifically wants me to do the housing research thing. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I get it. We'll speed shit up real quick. Did uh, anything going wrong here? No? All right, we're chilling? Cool. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, okay, this is definitely very macro scale. Okay, so then we, we do a research institute. Ah, here we go. So yeah, oh yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, cold is pretty good right now. Our biggest issue right now is crime. Typical British neighborhood. Okay, here we are. Different ideas, communities. A small crowd gathers outside the new research institute, arguing how to exploit the last coal veins. The machinists want us to lean on machine-powered mining, but foragers would have us pursue a bit more of a frugal situation. They would never display such discord in the captain's heyday. <laughs> Bullshit! Yeah, they would! I remember it! Um, <laughs> I remember it very clearly! Uh, you have to choose to sue which student trust developing their idea. Do not recite the deep magic to me, witch. All right, show me our options. We need new ideas to move forward. However, different communities may propose diverging answers to the same issue. They will pursue solutions that align with their worldview. Choosing a community to develop an idea will improve your relations with that community. Right, so we get factions. Oh, boy. Oh my god, it's it's frozen ice expansion for the tech tree. That's a baller art design. That's so cool. Okay, coal mines. How do we mine more coal? So currently foragers are 49% of the city. Machinists are 51%. They're, they're basically half and half. Um, dust coal mine. Requires an extraction district with a coal deposit mining operation where residue coal dust is sucked up and compressed into briquettes, briquettes to make maximum use of the resource. Okay, so we're we're bricking, we're bricking it. Uh, we're making we're making briquettes, uh, also known as uh, my wife. Um, Four hundred workforce requirement, one fifty uh, coal output. Disease is slightly increased. Because of the the dust, um, construction costs eighty heat stamps. Develop idea time needed fifteen weeks. Versus grinding requires an extraction district. Through grinding machines to churn through coal seems quickly, leaving heaps of slag behind. One eighty coal output squalor is increased. So okay, the main thing you get more coal. With fewer people, but you require significantly uh, triple the materials. I think I might go. I think the, the demand is significantly higher, but you get more with less. Mm, I'd rather go with slight disease increase with a, with a higher overall output on my ROI. I'll go with the foragers. Also, I want my briquettes. People in your city form communities. Groups of people unite in a common outlook and background. You can view any of your communities by clicking on their image in the bottom screen. Uh, under a community name, you can find information regarding your relations with a specific community. Your relations with each community will affect your overall trust. Lovely. So I was nice to the foragers. Opinion neutral. Still also neutral. You can fund projects or request or request money. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh. 
I just clicked on it and I gave them a bunch of heat stamps. I thought it would show me where the, I thought it would show me various projects that they could provide me with. I thought I would get a list. I was wrong. Looks like we are team forager. Enjoy your, your uh, lobbying money. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, caught, caught, you got me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's kill him. Let's kill, let's beat him to death with hammers. All right. Uh, so. Marginally tension increased by minor crime. Yeah, we have a bit of crime. So where is my funding section? R is Research Institute. Okay. Oh my god, even this has like a top-down thing. It actually wouldn't surprise me this whole area is just part of the map, but different. Eco oh my god, we've got survival, economy, and society. I live in this third one. Housing block, rail hub, famine prevention. Oh boy. Yo, what's up, Adsuna? Thanks so much for the tier one sub. Welcome. Chat, I'm not finding the option to steam people alive. When, when are we when are we getting that one? Worker obsolescence. Hmm. When when are we when are we getting I'm also not seeing the option for child labor? Um Hmm. Alright, so yeah, th this is on its way, so we're gonna... We gotta let the coal mines work through. Why can't I have fun stuff? Yeah. Also, what's up, Smith and Hen? Thanks for the Prime. And Valorous, thanks for the resub. Or, or uh, no, yeah, it is resub. Twenty-one C people have recovered and returned to work in the city. Ah, yeah, this is really like macro scaled, isn't it? Hot damn. Sorry, cold damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm farming the minus twos today. I'm f I'm farming them. <laughs> All right. Uh, shit. Okay. So, seven weeks left. I'm just gonna skip. We're moving, we're moving. What's my output on some of these? Goods, limited. Okay. Where, where's my, where's my output tab? I see surplus available. Oh, output from the generator, output. Okay, output, output. Spending. Oh, it's demand and then output. So we're even. Uh, we're, we're outputting better on this one. We are even on food. We are even on materials. We are not good with, we're not good on goods. Goods are, we have a problem with goods. The object necessary for everyday life. Failure to meet the demand for them causes crime. I mean, when the world is ending, you gotta get yourself a Gucci belt. I live in California. I see what those, them bitches wear. It's always the goddamn Gucci belt. Have some taste. All right. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's cracking a lacking. All right. Already researched. Change communities to see the potential solutions to their problem. Okay. All right. There it is. We're up. We can also do advanced coal mines. Squalor is significantly increased. Blasting coal mines. Okay, okay. Construct the newly researched building in an extra extraction district. Oh, I need to build a building for it. Okay. Yeah, the dust coal mine. I play just sell differences. With the new mine, we have enough coal output to last us a while. Uh, 
Yet differences between communities remain. Even under the previous leader, plans have existed to establish a council to settle such differences. More pressing problems always delayed them. The time has come, steward. The people want to a say in how the city is run. <laughs> oh boy, the politics time. All right. Okay. Trust. Located the tension meter in the bottom of the stream. How much confidence people have in you as the steward of the city and in your decision making. Mainly consists of your relations with all community and factions. However, your decisions and actions can also influence your overall trust. Be careful. If your trust runs out and you become despised among your people, the populace might want to dispose you and strip you of your steward position and possibly your life. <laughs> I added that last part. Uh, you can improve your overall trust by increasing your relations with communities and factions. This can be done by using various community actions in their corresponding community panel. Try clicking on community portraits at the bottom and see what you can do for them. Otherwise, it can be done by signing certain laws and negotiations. All right, build the council hall in the central district. The council hall. Hey, Jim Bellini, thanks for the resub, dude. It's gonna be a time. We got, we got, we got options. They forgot about the coal so early, and, and now here we are. Ho 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 ho! Oh boy. The council gathers for the first time. We can vote on new laws. Ah, you love the artwork. The first council session. People cheer as the gates of the council open. It feels like a piece of the world lost to the frost has been regained. The people are hopeful to have their voices heard while the machinists and foragers clash about our survival strategy. Neither have a firm stance on economic or social issues. However, Many in their ranks do, though they keep to the shadows for now. To pass any law in the council, you will need the majority of delegates to support it. Oh no! You're trying you're telling me I don't get unlimited power until I die? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Open the session. Oh shit. Wait, this is awesome. The council. People of the city send a hundred delegates to represent them. Your role... Uh, hmm, meeting. Your role as steward is to propose laws that will be put to a vote. However, communities have different outlook on many things. You ha may have to negotiate or pressure them to get support. Propose a law. Oh, no. Okay, I, I gotta be honest. A little bit of a, I, I, I know I've harped on it all, all already. Could really change this to be a bit more gray and a little bit less white because I'm getting fucking blinded right now. It's it's too bright. I need a dark. Turn the turn the dark mode on. Turn the dark mode on. Let's do society. Society. Care. Childhood. Funeral. What about economy? Basic necessities, welfare, labor, community service. There's ah, there's no child labor yet. You know what? Maybe because we're we're past that point, because we're actually like a, like a big group now. Well, let's do society first. There is a variety of practices regarding funeral rites. No effects. Alternative policies, ceremonial funerals, trust loss resulting from deaths is decreased, or harvesting funerals. Disease is slightly decreased. Research speed is slightly increased. Oh. Um, have a childhood. We have family apprenticeship. Percentage of active workers is slightly increased. Oh, wait! We do have it! Let's go! Let's go! Slight active work slight. Yeah! You'll get childhood labor! Yeah! 
Oh, let's fucking go. We pulled it off. Sorry, sorry. Childhood apprenticeship. My apologies. Holy, let's go. Or mandatory school. Research speed is slightly increased. Heat stamps income per capita is slightly decreased. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to read the other ones because I'm curious. What about economy? Basic necessities. Heat stamps income per capita is increased. Resource production efficiency is slightly increased. Free or free essentials, which is trust, will rise. Contagion pre uh, prevention. Disease is decreased. Tension. Uh, a, we, have a, oh, we have no agreed upon way to handle cont contagious people. Community service. Okay. Outsiders. Population growth. Survival. Food additives. I mean, I gotta be honest, chat. Like, I gotta do, I gotta do family apprenticeship. Like, I just, I gotta pick child labor. It's my favorite part. <laughs> you got the kid, you got the kid on the right. He's like, does he get the book or does he get the work vest? A small step towards tradition. Tradition! They know! They know! <laughs> they recognize! I gotta do it. All children must work alongside one of their relatives so they can learn the trade and continue the family tradition. Propose it. 420 against 10. Mainly the foragers. Okay. I can pressure the delegates. Relations with all communities will worsen. 70 or has... Let's, let's negotiate. Okay, they're both open to negotiation. All right, foragers. You seem... You seem more against. Or... No, it's about half and half. My terms. Vote. They will support the law during the next voting. They will vote against passing the law during the next vote. Oh, oh, we're going harder into the your politics. Your grandpappy was a minor. Your daddy was a minor. You're going to be a minor. And your kids are going to be minors. That's redundant. Those kids already are minors. Okay. I want you to vote for it. And in exchange... Demolish the dust coal mine. Oh, dear. Policy. City development effort. Everyone must support the extraction work in an effort to gain more resources to the city. So if I vote for them, if they will vote for it, but then I will need to fund their stuff, remove the dust mine, or, or do a city development effort. We'll do a development effort. Oh, wow. Okay, let's vote. 59-4, 51 required. The proposed law has been approved. They're doing this for, uh, for child labor. <laughs> They're cheering like this for child labor. The new law has been agreed on. Good. There are challenges ahead. Improving coal extraction is success, but the vein will only last so long. We need to explore the frost of a permanent source of fuel. That's the first step in our colonization effort. If we don't take it, the sea will have no future at all. This concludes the onboarding tasks in this preview. Remember, you can always consult the tutorial. Okay. Frostland introduction. You need to reach beyond your city, not only survive, but to thrive. The logistics district opens up access to the Frostland. You can switch from the Frostland to the city. Oh my god, it's so macro. Oh my. Holy.
Establish a food colony, a fuel colony, a materials colony. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, I need to pass them a, a certain law to make them happy. What was the law I needed to pass? Promise to machines. Pass city development effort. Where is that? I'm assuming it's economy. Maybe not? Maintenance duty? Wait, wait, where where can I... I... I'm trying to figure out where to... do this. Like... like where it's at. That is research, not laws. Oh, it's the law. Oh, right, right. It's a law. It's a policy. Oh, you're right, right. My bad. It's a, so it's a law. How? Okay. How do I? How do I look at laws specifically? Reason, tradition, society, tradition, and reason. Right. And then there's economy, merit, and equality, and then survival, adaptation, and progress. Oh boy. Bottom right grayed out button. Oh, the council's in recess. So there's no there's no voting yet. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, so what are we missing? We we're currently low on goods. How do we get more goods? In industrial districts and buildings or pass laws to make them more available. So output is a lot of coal in the that's the extraction district. I need an industrial district. We have a lot of available populations, so so we could probably make an industrial district no issue. A flat change to the level of squalor. Squalor increases sickness, slows population growth, and, and wears down districts. Oh, so because I have... Because I, I put an extraction district next to it, it turns into squalor. So yeah, probably probably better that I put it away from the house. But we're actually- I, I kind of want to break away some areas. Maybe I'll put it next to the extraction district. But I need a frost break first. There we go. Okay. Um, there's also a forest. Ooh, we can actually build something there. I'm assuming extraction district is what- yeah, okay. I mean, we're gonna want more wood. Definitely, so... Hmm... Wait, can I cancel that? There we go. That's not how I cancel it. How do I, how do I undo? How do I undo? How do I cancel it? Shit! The bomb button? I, I'm clicking on the bomb button. It's not blowing it up! Ah, uh, well. Because I'm paused? Nope. Oh well, it is what it is. We're do we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Maybe it's a bug. Okay, frost breaking complete over there. So we're gonna make a new district. We're making the industrial district. Oh, it helps with the shared workforce. Pog? Because it's also an, an extraction district. It, ooh. The steward promised them the same nonsense. Forager. Oh, I may have I may have promised them something. That's true. Oh, wait, I need to do more research. Okay. Hold on. 
We, 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 you always need to have research working on it at all times. Uh, let's go with the economy, housing block. Foragers and machinists. This is about the same. I was nice to forages earlier, but I'm, but I'm signing a law for... Hmm. Let's do machinists. We are, we already funded the foragers <laughs> accidentally, so you know we're chilling. I feel like the machinists I trust a little bit more with that kind of vibe. I won't I won't lie. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm low on heat stamps currently. What is your feelings on female custodies being released? Oh god, not this again. I I've, I've answered this a million times. Go to my old stream. Actually, watch Adric on Wednesday. Watch Adric on Wednesday. You'll, you'll give you you can pause champ that one. You'll you'll learn there. Thanks for the dono, but I, I'm tired of talking about it. And buy merch. <laughs> Thanks twice for my sis. You got my back. Okay, okay. So, um, let's see what we got here. Uh, so that's about to be completed. Lovely, district actions. Some districts' actions are available at, uh, by default. Others will be unlocked by constructing specific buildings in a district or if the state of a district changes. Interesting. So, emergency shifts. Resource production efficiency is increased. Trust, oh, like double shifts. Or half shifts. Extremely decreased, but resource requirement is extremely decreased as well. And you lower the, the, the you know, you, you, you get the point. Okay, okay. So, we need... This is giving us more stockpile. We're still low on goods. Goods are done from the industrial district. Which also requires a certain amount of materials, which is good because we're building up more stuff here. Okay, we already got demands and requirements. Wait, hold up. Actually, I, want, I do want to double check that one more time. Filled, cease to function, become disabled. Demand. Oh, yeah. Okay. Build logistics district in a place uh, of one of the old waste in place of one of the old waste stations in the city outskirts. Right, that's the logistic dist. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What is this? Rex Dale, forty-five, entrepreneur, returning from the city approach trial. Trail. A profitable day. First couple were all rags and bones. Useless. But then there was this woman with real ruby earrings. Ought to uh, cover the arrival fee, I said. The wife will love those. Next was a bunch of strong fellas. I sent them straight to Lane's place. She'll wring them dry before I get home. Lastly, there's been a... There's, lately, there's been less of them. Maybe words getting around. Gotta take advantage while it lasts. The lack of law regulating outsiders is decreasing population growth. People are people are being sussy. They're taking advantage of everybody. Okay, I mean crime is only minor, you know, but it's still a thing. The issue I'm running into right now is I don't have the heat stamps to make anything. Income 15 a week. Mean the demand for goods can help increase heat stamp outcome, which is what we're currently doing. So wait, we need to build the logistics district. Which I don't actually have enough heat stamps to do so, but logistics will go, like here's iron ore. That's the old way station we need to put it down on, right. That's where we gotta put it in. Oh shit, uh, Igor Fritas gave, uh, gifted 10 memberships on the YouTube side. Holy shit, thank you very much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute the delete delete until we get something better to fix it up. But thanks a ton, I fucking appreciate that. Huge. Big, in fact. Um, okay, so at the moment... Um, okay, so at the moment... We're chilling. Demand output, unfulfilled six. Why 
Why is this blinking red? Is that because of the of the surplus? I'm assuming it's because of the surplus. So yeah, storage. Okay, my heat stamps I think are going up though. Hold up. We got we got problems. Stockpile is depleted. Stuart, our initial stockpiles of food have run out. Our current output will satisfy some of the demand, but problems will mount over time. Let's expand our districts or establish new ones to provide our supply. More supply. Otherwise, the city and us will suffer. Okay, we're out of we're we're out of food surplus. Um Our output is 20, our demand is 160. Holy shit. Oh god. Most likely because we don't have a food district. Also, I was reading about Nikola's shadow. Oh, oh my good like god. Oh, thanks for the dono, Tyler. We're not doing Warhammer stuff today, though I appreciate your donation and support of the channel. I, I very much appreciate it, but we're doing it. You gotta understand. There's a lot of child labor in 40k. But this is a special kind of child labor. This is Frostpunk child labor. So we're hitting it in our own special way there. Alright. Also, uh, Vina Drake Curse. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so... We need a f so we have a f we're making a food district. Iron ore way station. The oh, there we go. Fertile ground food. Sweet, and I can get it closer so we can keep the heat going. Uh, this will up squalor a little bit, but I'm I'm kind of okay with that. Actually, that's fine. We can do it like that. Oh, we're back to the laws. What? I'm sorry. What is rule? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now this is what I'm here for. The children yearn for oil. The children do indeed yearn for oil. Captain's authority. Political police, propaganda, stewards appeal, martial law, stewards militia. Lovely. This is what I came here for. All right. So I promised the machinists that we would do community. We would do the city development effort, right? Material output per capita increased. A small step towards progress. Children in what? mines and bricky out of the jar. It's a good day. <laughs> Wait, what am I out of the jar for? Hell yeah, though. You're right. Oh, this. Oh, wait, dude. This 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 whole thing is awesome. I love the different artwork they do for each of these individual things. All right, city development effort. How many do I need? All the machinists are for it. How much do I need for a law? Is it two thirds? Or it, it, does it say using 51 votes? Okay, so we're fine here. It's just simple majority. Ah, okay, okay. Look at the look at the dark side over here. They're not they are not happy. The proposed law has been approved. 62-4. Lovely. Promise the machinist kept. The machines are delighted you kept your word. They now look upon your rule more positively and consider you a leader with integrity. Because you kept your promise. Relationship with, the pre with uh, machines improved. Trust rises. Lovely. Okay, okay. I gotta be honest, chat. The most uh, unrealistic part about this game is a politician keeping their promise. Zing. All right. So, I'm curious. There is a food depot we have here. That- oh wait, so okay, so hold on. I see we have a food depot. 
and it seems like it, it's the output is a 30 per 30,000 food stockpile capacity. So it's it's capacity. Not um I'm assuming capacity means uh like like stockpile surplus. Like it, it, it holds food as opposed to um it doesn't make food. That's what the district is for. Speaking of districts, can I uh no, I need more heat stamps. Nice uh hey guys, I know mm, 24 hour shifts. It increased my output to 23 from 20. That was dog shit. Oh, it's per week. Okay, okay, that, that, that's actually better than I thought it was. Okay. Uh-oh. What's going on? The Outsiders. No common rules. Steward, it seems that some of our citizens are profit, profiteering from outsiders trying to get into the city. We caught smugglers with a freezing and disorienting group of people. That, when warmed, fed, and questioned, they spoke of the grim reputation our city has among the survivors in the area. It's the only generator there is. We've heard stories of what some of the guides do to people trying to get in. So what happened to us? The rumors seem true. Should we do something about it? I mean, we do have an issue with crime. We'll set rules for entry. Pass any law and outsiders. Oh, sweet. Oh, there's the housing block. That's done. Lovely. Uh, what? Okay, what issues are we currently suffering from? The biggest one right now is food. Uh, it, it's it's growing. Not it's not quite there yet, but it, it's it's on its way. We got more food th from here. Our output is still wildly low. We, we have 160 demand and 80 output. If I expand, um, oops. If I expand this, it'll increase its output and provide one more building slot. So I guess I could expand it because we do need more food. But like, do we even have? Oh, there is more food over here. Okay, I was like, is there even other spots for food right now? We genuinely need more need more food. Oh, wait, this place needs to be broken up. I can't actually get there. Got a frost break. God damn you, dude. Okay. Research. Housing insulation. Asbestos lining. That's fine. The uh, listen, it's it won't be the it won't be the cold that kills them. It'll be the cancer. Uh, or oh, it's asbestos lining for both of them. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Uh, we need to pass a law or something that that involves uh food, please, or the goods factory. Hot houses requires a food district. I got that. Hey, Vanna Dread Curse, thanks for the uh, five gifted. Let's fucking go. Appreciate ya. Industrial sized hothouses where organic waste ferments in large vats, fertilizing, revol resol revolving, Jesus, shelves of crops. Okay. So, a little asbestos never killed anybody? You're right. Not just a little asbestos, there's a lot of asbestos. So, we have the hothouse, we have the bio waste drum or the chemical drum. Chemical nutrients are injected into tubs of crops to accelerate their growth. Squalor is increased, disease is increased. Higher heat demand, fewer workforce. We're pretty good on workforce, so I think we're gonna go with the bio waste. New building. Housing block. Demands five heat, output five shelter. Okay, so we got a... Uh We got a brand new housing block. I still need to build a logistics district, but we should really be good on our on our goods. Oh, our goods need to be higher too. It might be time to expand this district. Oh no. Clock 
coal. Requirements 289. Output 289. Okay. How's our heat? Demand and output, same. So we're, we're chilling on heat. That sound is like... That sound has like a visceral reaction to me whenever I hear like that... Like the, the crackling sound of ice. Just from all of my time playing the old game. Oh, okay. I think we've... um Nice. We've, we've done the frost breaking. What does frost breaking require? Uh, requires it requires um e force of course it does okay it requires heat stamps i mean okay we need more heat stamps which means we also need more goods <sighs> building a second industrial district would help us with that but we also need to make sure our food is fine okay we have our expanded industrial district let's go how's that how's that doing for our uh, output 30 output? That's good. I like that. Our materials need to be increased. Let's expand this. Oh, it's law time. Economy. I promised I would do something here. Accept all outsiders. Allow product in force. Is slightly decreased. Crime is slightly okay. Population growth is marginally increased. Heat stamps income per capita is marginally increased. Allow productive outsiders. We will only let in outsiders who will contribute to the city's economy and turn away the unproductive. A step towards merit. A step towards equality. I really like how this game fucks with your your morals cuz you know it's like the end of the world. And so and so if you like you know you the idea of like we should turn away certain individuals actually like has merit because it's such a difficult situation you're currently in. Build the wall, build... Ah. So, currently, we need a heat stamp income per capita. We, we need population, but we need heat stamps more. I think we're going to build the wall, chat. I think we're going to build the wall. The people are divided. How do we let's 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 negotiate? All right, you know what? I worked with the machinist last time. I'm gonna work with the foragers this time. We'll try to we'll try to fence it. Give me a four. Everyone must aid expeditions by helping them prepare for their journey. Exploration time is decreased. Community action grand agenda. Let foragers choose the next law to be voted on. Oh god, that's too much power. Weather adjusted shifts to protect workers' health. I don't want the workers to be healthy. We'll do we'll do a policy for expedition support. I'll give you that. Take the vote. Fifty seven four. The delegates have spoken. The law takes effect. Outsider law has been regular. Okay, yeah, we got well we got good trust because we did what we promised we would do. Okay, hunger is growing. Shit, hunger is like actually growing at a at a substantial rate. We don't have the heat stamps income to be able to do any better. Shit. Sue Miller, 12, apprentice. Spinning dog hair in the yarn. Ouch, my fingers, these spindles. The journey woman keep joking that I'll fall asleep and be awakened by a prince. I don't get it. It's a thing that used to happen in the old country, apparently. One more and I'll be my record today. Auntie Mabel will be proud. I spin a good yarn. Keep it up. 
and I'll have a good job at the mill. It's hard work, but it beats being in the streets. Family apprenticeship promises a better future for the children in the city. Yeah. Yeah, we can go with that. Yeah, we could refer to it like that. Sure. That's a good way to spin it. Oh, okay, I need three heat stamps. Okay, food district. Okay. Two empty building slots here. We don't have a whole lot to build, though. But... Okay, we're actually getting a bit of a surplus, too. Our demand for materials is just barely off. So increasing the expanded district was a good idea, but, um... How's our housing? We're totally good on housing. We're gonna need more of the, of the frozen forest for their materials. So it's probably time to... We don't have the heat stamps. We don't have the taxes. Listen, the food district is is hanging off on a cliff. Let it happen. All right, what's this question mark here? Temperature changes. Right, there's a weather timeline. Okay, it's going to get colder soon. And then it'll get a little bit- it'll get a bit warmer. Okay. Okay. How we doing on food now? I'll put 140, demand 160. Alright, we need to expand. New building proposed by foragers. Right, okay, we got the- we got the new building. For food, the the bio disease is slightly increased. 80 food output. I should have just waited and not even expanded anything. Balls. <sighs> That's fine. Hot houses are done though. We like that. What's what do we need next? We need materials and goods. <sighs> We need materials, because materials involve output, but goods increase our heat stamps, which will also allow us to keep crime down, and then with more heat stamps, we could maybe push more materials, but if we don't do that fast enough, and we run out of materials to do things, we're pretty fucked. Let's see, let's see, what, let's see what they offer us. Heat demand, disease is slightly increased, more disease. Refurbishing Goods Factory, or Calibrated Goods Factory. The material requirement is too high. Sawmills. Untreated Wood Sawmill. Oof. Mechanized Sawmills, good. 200 materials output, fewer workforce, it, but has triple the heat demand and massive squalor increase. I can't even develop the idea. I don't even have enough, enough stuff. I'm going to go with the squalor increase one. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with uh, sawmills. I'm, I'm going to go with the mechanized sawmill. I can work with it. All right. New laws, baby. I promised them I would work on, on this development. All right. Enforce city development efforts. Material output per capita is increased. Oh, they want me to swap it. Shit. I sw I, they want me to change the law I currently gave the machinists. I promised them I would. Let's see. Let's see what the negative out. Let's see what the outcome is. I'm 
I'm gonna pressure the delegates. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna put on some political pressure. It lowers my trust, but uh, I'm doing it anyway. The proposed law has been approved. Oh, I may not have need to do that. Oh well. It's fine. We're learning. Okay, how's our food going? It's diminishing. Good. Okay. Alright, our demand and output is equivalent. We are struggling with materials, though. So, I want- I can build a building for them, the drum house. But I, I need a ton of heat stamps. Like a ton, a ton. Okay. I'm gonna build one, and that should let us kinda chill for a bit. We're starting to run low on workforce, though. Am I the only one who, uh, here's the politician dude say the future law enforcement, uh, like it's actually the Robocop actor? No, it sounds like Jeff Bridges to me. That's not good. 1,624 more people living among us. White among us, gay sex. The city population grows. Steward, a new count has revealed significant growth in our population in recent weeks. Some attribute the rise to an influx of settlers from the frostland, others to births outnumbering deaths. Whatever the cause, we just did our calculations. That's good. I was starting to run low on people. That's very good. It would appear squalor is growing significantly because of our material scarcity. Which is bad. Uh, we can increase our housing block to help with that. Cold is being increased due to uh, shelter scarcity as well. Okay. 17 a week heat stamps is not enough. We need to increase our goods output. William Hoff, 37 Hunter. A new voice, the Ice Bloods. I doubted common people could help scouts in their valiant efforts, yet here we found a way to be of use. I doubt this world, this world w could still rec reward competence. Sorry, chap. But they recognized my worth and granted me entrance. I doubted children could still learn to revere their elders, yet here my child tend dutifully to my needs. This made me realize what the city can become. The times of mere survival are gone. We must organize. <laughs> a brighter tomorrow is within our reach. Ice bloods form in support of expedition support. Allow productive outsiders and family apprenticeship. The ice bloods. Six percent of the city. A new faction. Adaptation, merit, and tradition. Hardened survivalists. They recruit from the most resilient and capable individuals in the city. This is their manifest. Hot damn. She is out there. A little, little culty. A little culty, not gonna lie. We are not producing the goods we need to produce, man. We are not. Wait, it says marginally to increase decrease by emergency shifts. Uh, do I have emergency shift going right now? I could push the researchers. Oh boy. Okay. Food. Unfulfilled is rough, but besides that, we're we're chilling. Our coal is equivalent. We're fine. I don't need to push anything. God, 
God damn. Yeah, we really do need more music. We really do need more mats. That's baller art. Separated families, a lot of productive outsiders. Steward. A large group of people have set up camp outside the city, one of our checkpoints. They claim to be relatives of outsiders we let in. My daughter is alone in there, said a distressed mother. You need to let me in. She needs me. After checking, we told that her daughter, a 15-year-old laundress, is safe and doing well, but her mother, the mother won't budge. Like her, the others are refusing to leave until they are let in. Oh, this is the part where I have to determine if it's... Because we, we only let in useful individuals. Uh, we'll increase the percent of active workers in the population less efficiently. efficiently. Relations marginally improve with the ice bloods. Oh, lovely. The ice bloods are anti-outsider. No, we're going to relax it. The ice bloods are a small percentage of our people. We can chill for a bit. So rule is not allowed in this preview, which is very unfortunate. Uh, okay. We need something for our economy. Resource production efficiency is slightly increased. Heat stamps income per capita is increased. To foster responsibility and reward work, citizens will be charged a small fee in exchange for essentials. So I'm increasing taxes. I really need that heat stamp income. I really need it. <laughs> I don't know if hesitant is like it's going to be randomized or how that works. Exactly, but let's just vote for it. Let's just let's just let's just like fucking send it. We got the it. Votes are in. The measure passes. Yeah, see, it sounds like it sounds like Jeff Bridges. All right. Yeah, I thought Hesitant might be on the RNG side. Yeah, that's kind of what my first thought was. Okay, so we're getting 20 a week in heat stamps. That's good. That's good. We really badly need to increase our district, though. Everything else is chilling. Uh, disease is a bit rough, but. For the most part, I think we're big chillin'. Okay. Uh, we need another... Wait, what's the extraction district require? 120 heat stamps. We have the workforce, though. All right. Oh, no. Do I need to... We have to frost break it. In the meantime, what can we do in the meantime? How are our goods? Our goods are fine. Ooh, sawmills are almost done. That's true. I'm gonna, maybe I should wait for that. That's a good point. Uh, frost breaking is still maybe a good idea, just in case, though, for the future. Mmm, it's getting colder. Mechanized sawmill, new building. Pr okay. Hold on. Extraction, mechanized sawmill. Squalor is significantly increased. Requires 60 heat. 
Uh, 200 materials. Okay. Maybe we will be fine. Maybe we build that and let it roll. We fucking send it. We're out of stamps again. Uh, Squalor is growing a bit. Class, uh, classic smoking duck gif. Let's, let's research. Um, what's worker shifts? So what we got here? Heat demand is slightly decreased. Disease is slightly decreased. Resource production efficiency is slightly decreased. That's weather adjusted or foragers. Machinists increase, uh, squalor, but workforce requirement is decreased. What do the ice bloods want? Weather adjusted shifts. To protect worker health, workplaces must adapt working hours to a healthier condition. Heat demand is slightly increased, disease slightly decreased, resource production efficiency slightly decreased. Oh, the ice bloods and the foragers want the same thing. I kind of prefer the machinist's idea. No, we're having issue with squalor, actually. We'll go with the foragers. We'll develop their idea. It costs zero money anyway. Oh boy. Children, yearning for the mines? It's more likely than you think. Click here to violate OSHA safety regulations. OSHA? <laughs> Suck my dick, OSHA. You can't unstunt the forklift. Okay, we are we are losing a bit of shelter. It might be time to open up a couple of housing blocks. 120 heat stamps for that though. God damn. Okay. We'll place it on the food area. That should be the easy one. It's right there. How's my coal doing? Oh, no. Rut row raggy. Oh, the only other place that has coal is way the fuck over there. We, we we might we might need to make some colonies, yeah. Honestly, we might we need we need a fuel colony. And in order to make a fuel colony, we need a logistics uh, depot, which is all the way over which is all the fucking way over there. Which means we need a, we need a break. Max Hork Horkheimer, twenty nine. Look at this, looks like ice blood fit members leaving the institute. They keep looking at my hands. Every day they come and pester me about my work. What are you doing right now? Can we push the other research along? Why are you halting the drafting of the law we discussed yesterday? They want to influence what we do. Ice bloods. Pfft. I thought we were doing fine on coal. I think because I was looking over here instead of heat. This is like the amount of available coal. I think I think I looked I think I looked at the wrong thing. Also, it's because the warm season the, the cold season got worse, so we need more heat. Veronica Pettit, 73 janitor. You amended the allow productive outsiders law to let in whole families, regardless of their contributions. I did do that. Survival. That's food. Mass produce goods. To overcome scarcity, we'll organize our production lines to increase good production. 
or goods demand per capita is marginally increased. I think production efficiency sounds better. 38 for, 28 against. I'm pressuring them. The delegates have spoken. The law takes effect. I'm going to lose a little bit of trust that way, but that's okay. We got to do what we got to do. 20 a week currently. Good surplus. We're doing mostly fine with. There we go. We're expanding our district. We need 14 more stamps to start uh, ice frost breaking again. Supplies are good though. Cold is bad and noticeable. Disease is also getting worse because of because of the cold. Lovely. All right, there's some frost breaking. Okay, that's good. Oh, what's happening over here? Cutthroat economy, paid essentials. Steward, now that we are charging for essentials, some unemployed families are unable to afford basic necessities. Never heard that before. Work goes to the worthiest. If these people were passed up, it's their own damn fault. They should put in the work instead of expecting the city to solve their problems, claimed an Ice Bloods delegate. Others are more measured and say we could provide them with a weekly allowance. If we can't offer them work, we will give them a budget. Up to them to use wisely. What should we do? Handouts make people helpless. You up to them to use it responsibly. Chat, what are our thoughts on welfare? What are our thoughts on welfare, chat? What are our th What could it- Hmm. Um, you know, it's like, uh, it's, it's like all the, it's like what the blue check marks on Twitter like to tell me every day. Womp womp. Get up, son. Time to find, did a hair tuck and a haircut and find a job. All right. We do need a housing block to be fixed up though. What is going on here? What's happening? <laughs> what the shit? I got caught out completely off guard. This man's taking down a fucking polar bear of all places. Steward, the Ice Bloods have started gathering for rallies supporting your rule. Showing off frostbite scars and almost any human resistance to cold, they enthrall passers-by with feats of strength and endurance. One of them stripped half-naked and wrestled a bear with his bare hands. Cold and hard as steel, a man like that could survive anything, said an onlooker. What could we become if we cast away superficial gizmos and rely on inner strength? The Ice Bloods proclaim several things they want. They believe will improve this even further. Do you want to support one of them? Merit-based housing. I wish this, these would tell me what I could do. I, I wish these, I, these don't tell me what they mean. These don't tell me what they mean. And that's a little bit annoying. It says tradition, merit, and the rest. I have a feeling that this will change most likely in the final build. But they, yeah, they currently don't tell me what they mean. That being said... We can solve the housing crisis by having merit-based housing. You want to you want a fucking home? Work. Um <laughs> so I guess we're going to go with that one. Oh hey, worker shifts have been completed. Okay, so, okay, advanced coal mines, please. Deep shaft coal, coal mine. 
Blasting coal mine or deep shaft work coal mine again. We've got we have enough workforce. We don't have the heat stamps. Cold is extremely noticeable right now. Which is increasing our disease. If I if I pop the generators overdrive will that in increase our demand I don't know I don't see I don't see where it's changing though oh there it is yep it definitely does we need we need better coal mines Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Deep shaft coal mine. Okay. Council in recess still. All right, they want me to pass a law. Dude, heat stamps are like... Did somebody die? Heat stamps are crushing me. Chemist. Frightened by growing presence of ice bloods. But to do what to think. Technocrats have formed an opposition of the ice bloods. There's another faction. Oh no. The Technocrats. Alright, in fairness, that double key gear symbol is dope. And they hate me. Progress, equality, and reason. They do not like me at all. I might I might try to shove them out into obscurity if I can. I might I might force them to uh to, you know, I might remove them slowly through political power and by force. while before that coal reaches. The weather's about to get a little bit better, though. Oh, come on. This heat's about to go up. and We're about to get better. A broken vow. Machines are assuming that the state development law is no longer enforced. Uh, they wish to remind you of the vow you swore to enact this law. Break keeping this vow earned civic will with the members breaking it now would push towards hostility. Weather adjusted shifts. Time to vote. I think I'll be okay. Oh. The eyes have it. Chat. I think we're, I think we're I think we're going downhill. I think we may have some problems. Oh, what's going on here? All deposits extracted by the district are depleted. <sighs> We're out of stuff. We're out of stuff. I guess we 
need to, I guess we demolish the building, I suppose. And then we build a new one. Oh, fuck, we need that. Extraction district, right? There we go. That's a lot of sawmills right there. That's a lot of sawmills right there. That should that should really help us out. What's going on down here? Steward, it was only a matter of time. We had an unusually long streak of mild weather, but now just are clear there's a familiar drop in air pressures. A whiteout is coming. The wind will cause extreme cold and the clouds will blot out the sun. Without shelter and ample fuel, our people will be at mortal risk. We have to prepare. Oh, it's happening again. The wild will arrive in 80 weeks. Heat demand will increase, increase greatly during the, the whiteout. Oh, God. 80 weeks is not that close. It, it, I see it right there. It's, it's right there. Okay. 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 People are getting sick still. We okay, we need all right, all right, all right. We need more heat. We need more housing. That's what we need. That's the thing we need the most. The way station is also very, very fucking helpful. And I'd like to use that. So let's get this logistics district here while we have the opportunity. And then. Okay. Nice. How's how's this output comparatively? Not as good from the stockpile. We will need to expand. Okay. Coal. We're we're going to need to figure out a new way to get coal. 97 people froze to death in the city. Lovely. Fan fucking tastic. <laughs> Excellent. Classic smoking duck gif. Our logistics district is ready and Frostland teams stand by for orders. Frostland exploration is now available. You can search the Frostland team's related topics. Oh yeah, okay. Here's the expedition. Likely oil or gas. Unsafe territory. All right, we'll start here. Launch expedition required. Frostland teams. There they go. Giga Chad scouts. Let's hit it. Okay. Find a permanent source of fuel outside the city. Right. We need. We need like like oil or something. Okay. Okay. How are we doing on our? 120 motherfucking heat stamps to get a goddamn housing unit. Are you shitting me? Up taxes. Up them everywhere. You know what? My trust is actually pretty good. You know what? You guys, over time. What do you want? Oh. <laughs> Seward! A recent cold wave has taken many lives in the city. People were found frozen not only in the open streets, but in some houses and workplaces as well. Grief fills the air. Tension grows. Nice guy. <sighs> hey, evil crashes with three gifted subs. <laughs> Whoops. Right. Unregulated worker shifts. Okay, food additives. Contagion prevention? I 
I mean, infection badge. Require a special badge that allows others to limit their interactions that they deem them appropriate. I mean, that's fine. You know, like, a little badge that says, like, don't touch me, I have COVID. You know, that, that should be easy. People are divided. I bet I can still do it. You know, it actually should be pretty easy. You know, and then, like, you can give, like, a little number. Have spoken. The law is table. And then, like, 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 you put, like, a star on their chest, you know? And then you can go from, like, there. Have I heard this before somewhere? Nah, it's probably nothing. All right. So, let's move on. Um, <laughs> meeting. No, we're, you're, you're, you got the wrong one, chat. It's not clueless. You want to wear. Aware is the meme you're thinking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, shit. What do we got? Uh, active ability emergency shift. Right. Okay. The emergency shifts are going because we need. Okay. Do we? Have, are we gonna finally have enough? Oh, we're almost. Almost about to have enough. So many people more sick. Come on. I'm so close. Just, just, just give me next week. Lovely. Warmer season, heat demand is decreased. Right, but we it's not about that. It's about the shelter. Housing block. Are we the baddies, Hans? There we go. Okay. Build that housing block. Who's upset with me? Technocrats begin protesting. We demand you repeal weather-adjusted shifts. Oh! Oh, declare martial law. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, you're only like 11% of the city. You don't really matter. Ignore. Machinists join the technocrats. I don't give a shit about that. Look at that. The machinists are barely even in a group right now. Suck, they could suck their ass. Oh my god, they're striking and my food's off. They shut down my food district! No! The consequences of my actions! Guys, guys, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. How can I protest in progress? Okay, all right, listen, listen. Um, um, publicly, I, I support you, friends. I will publicly promote you. And then hopefully you'll stop protesting. They're still protesting. They're still, they're still protesting. It's not working. They don't like me. <laughs> they still don't like me. Okay. Okay, that helped a lot. The shelter that I just made. How's our coal? Our coal is good. We're actually kind of chilling. I wonder why. It's because everyone. It's because people died, or is it because ongoing protests? Stuart, if you don't want to negotiate with the protesting faction, guards can disperse them. However, if you improve relations, the protests will also cease. You can also fund their projects and appease them, granting them agenda as a fair way to give them a chance to change in the city. Fine. You can choose the next law to be voted on. Will that make you happy? Protests begin collapsing. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Oh, it begins collapsing. It hasn't even collapsed yet. Oh, shit, lords. It takes time to collapse. Oh. Okay. Okay. More housing required. Nice. How's our materials? Bad. We need a sawmill for those boys. Oh! 
Oh, the deep shaft core mine. Oh, cores. Cores are a pivotal component of machinery in the, after the era of receiving the Great Frost. These are essential in upgrading the generator and constructing advanced buildings. Manufacturing technology of comparable quality is nearly impossible in the current environment. You can only find cores by exploring the Frostland. Hey, dude, the music in this game is still slapping. Oh, wait, guys, I'm sorry. We're going to have to bomb your... We're going to have to bomb your housing district. Ah, uh, crap, because we just got the new research that allows me to do the fancy one. The deep shaft coal mine. But we need that to get... Oh, you know. It's fine. Okay. We'll demolish that. Vote on mandatory school will be held in 10 weeks. No, my free labor! Shit! Okay, coal is, is rough, but materials is rougher. We need the deep shaft coal mine. What do I need? Oh, I don't have the workforce for it. <sighs> We're losing it. We're losing it. <gasps> the pass. Oh, the pass has been explored. We stumbled across an uh, abandoned caravan of sledges long since picked clean. Closer inspection revealed wood that had been treated with oil, a crude but effective method of waterproofing. Frozen tracks indicate the sledges have come from the northwest. <sighs> northwest, huh? Oh, but the, are, the, are the crevice fields not... Mm. How, many, how many boys do I have? Why do you want me to go to the glacier? Not enough resource. Possible findings, food. Possible finding, dwellers. I do need more people. I don't have enough, uh... Meager coal mine. To do like a trail all the way around. Oh. Oh. Through the pass? Actually, go all the way around. It'll cost me a hundred and fifty. Hold on. Oh, right, because it goes to the logistical district. So I, if I made another logis logistical district over here, it would work. I don't got the materials for that, man. I don't got the fucking shit for that. I don't have the money. We'll do an expedition over in the plains. Let's see if there's anything over there. Maybe we'll find a different coal area. It's got an easier movement. <sighs> okay. I'm broke. <sighs> I feel like another housing district would just be so helpful right now.
but I also badly need more coal. Oh, I could expand the housing district. That's true. That's a, you make a great point. We'll expand these two housing districts. All right, you know what? Emergency shifts are over. We are gaining some population. Okay, okay. What can we do here to help individual? Oh, I promised them something, didn't I? I promised the ice bloods. I promised the merit based housing. Shelter availability significantly increased. Heat stamps per camp in a slightly increased. Wait, this is amazing. Maybe the polar bear wrestlers do know something about how about <laughs> equal opportunity housing. <laughs> I guess. Okay. All right. All right. We're act we're chilling. We're actually chilling. Um. So that's growing. Rally begins collapsing. Your relationships with Ice Bloods have deteriorated. No longer support you enough to rally in your favor. What? I just gave you stuff. Oh, the rally. The ability to rally in my favor. They're they're neutral with me now. We're, I'm okay with that for the most part. I think. Okay, so this is increased in size, which is helpful. Extremely increased because of heat scarcity. Emergency council session. Okay, how do I how do I up the power of my I have zero spare population. There we go, 145. I just, I just got you guys something. Oh, I guess it's not done yet. So it's, it's extremely increased due to heat scarcity because, oh my God. A building is not working. Emergency shifts. Why is the coal mine not working? Why is it not working? No, we're we're fine on we're fine on on, on su supplies. We have a stockpile. We're good on all of those. Goods. No, we have available 340. Demand 300. Surplus 4390 so, uh, output. No, no, we're, we're fine on that. It's it's in the yellow. It's in the red is when it's not a problem. Requires an extraction district with the coal deposits. Did the, did the coal run out? Not enough workforce. Not enough wor issues, not enough workforce. Our workforce is fucked. Uh, how are we- okay, we're really good on food. We're gonna have the shifts. That- that made a huge difference. Anger machines grow more radical. Stuart, the machinists have grown deeply in hyper Your rule to community leaders now openly urge machinists to join the technocrats, arguing as part of a radical organization they will be able to protect their interests. If nothing is done in this situation, many angry machines will join the technocrats and push for the faction to take action against you.
you know what? We're kind of okay together. I think we should encourage them. I'm kind of okay with that. They'll only be a little bit upset. Okay, the coal mine piece is active. Can we construct the, the big, yeah, the deep shaft coal mine? Hold on. Why is it not going? Why is it not building? Is it just taking forever or... Oh, here we go. Here comes the whiteout. How are we doing over here? We got a while. That's true. Yeah, my workforce is absent. <sighs> what are we fine with? I'm gonna ha I'm gonna half shift the. Uh, I'm gonna half shift that too. Program war. Mandatory school. Stuart, people are increasingly arguing over the curriculum taught in schools. Some think we should reduce theoretical knowledge uh, and provide more survival training. We're, filling, we're, filing, fi we're, we're filling these kids' heads with numbers and useless junk. Others argue for the exotics between teachers and the new solutions. No longer increases research speed, but provides food instead. Speeds research even more. We'll do increases research even more. Okay. Society. Funerals. Uh, we're going to harvest their bodies. This will help with our disease a little bit <laughs> because um, because we'll learn how to treat sickness. The delegates have spoken. The law takes effect. Okay. It got colder. Oh boy. Let's have a look. Okay, harvest. That's handy. Oh, we can't get anywhere else. Okay, here's the plan. We don't have the workforce for logistics district. Okay. Housing district requires workforce and heat stamps. We are so low on workforce because we had so much before. We're stockpiling food like mad now because of actually of all the extra shifts that we've done. In fact, so much so that I almost feel like we could cut this food district down because we've got this one working so much. And we could try building a logistics thing here for more coal, but we, I mean that deep coal, actually hold on. Even with that deep coal thing, we still don't have enough heat wise. Though our coal issues are diminishing, we are stockpiling food, though. We actually are. And and these gals, uh, girls, guys and gals right now are on half shift. Yeah, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to demolish this district. 
I'm going to take you off half shift. I'm going to take you also off half shift. And um, we're back to things being bad again. Disease weakens our workforces. Heat, shelter, and food. I, I think I just need more another housing district, honestly. I, I don't know anything else. If my people are going to survive, they need the extra bit of that. What's wrong with this? Promised ice bullets kept. Yay! They're, they're for me again. 88 people died during an emergency shift. Lovely. Let's turn that off. Merit-based housing. Uh, I need shelter availability. But people do not like it. Foragers, work with me here. I can't. It's not enough. I'll fund your projects. I'm gonna gonna hit you with a little bit of pressure. It's the tiniest bit. Okay, we're good, we're gaming, we are just, okay, so here's the problem, we are so massively, like, low on individuals, <coughs> we're, okay, you know what, we're actually good on heat stamps, let's, let's stop with that for now. Increase heat. How do I make things warmer? But like, I... Is it coal? Specifically? One coal equals one heat? Ah. Uh. I lack the workforce to build it. Yeah, because everyone's fucking freezing to death. Okay. I'm gonna half shit you. No, I, the route is not... The route's gonna take too long to get here. Yeah. Oh, hey, shit, housing installation, let's go! Fine, here you... Here you go, technocrats. Technocrats are getting a bit of a... Large group here. How many weeks until this is here? Oh, it's so soon.
No, it's gonna take so long. It'll be so much easier to just to bounce it there and, and then there. We just need a logistics district. Why can't you go to half shifts? We'll just disable you for now. I need a logistics district, which I can't make because I haven't frost broken the fucking area. <sighs> okay, logistics district. We make you, and then eventually we're going to need to stockpile that supplies. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely. That one's there. You, Logistics District? <sighs> okay. 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 Connect trail. Connect trail. Bang. 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 Bam. Fucking got him. Okay. Does this logistic, does logistics district need to be here? Like, like what does this actually output? It outputs team. It outputs Frostland teams. Gotcha. That's fine. We don't need any more Frostland teams right now. We need the we need the workers. Um, you need guys need to go back to to full full force. New housing block incoming. I need to use fun projects on foragers. That's right. I promised them I would do that. Minus 228 heat stamps! And so many fucking heat stamps! Oh, we got more people. We got more people. Let's go. Let's go. Get him in the mines. Oh, they, 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 you're right. They're bopping. They're throwing babies out there like crazy. Oh, the whiteout's coming. The whiteout's coming. Requirements 10, the output by 15. Yes, yes. Constructed. Requirements 15. Exactly 15, 15. I think we're good. We may we may want to bring them up a little bit so that they can uh we can have a few available. New laws, economy, merit-based housing, law supported. We don't really need a new law, actually. I, I keep forgetting, we, can't, we, we don't have a rule. Um, contagion protection, I guess? Disease is significantly decreased, shelter availability per capita is... How's my disease? I've got, I got good shelter, right? Right? Ah! Will... Uh, how about, how about we, we, we increase, like, um, some... Food production. Screw it. Vote. <clears throat> the proposed law has been approved. It's it's good. I I I saw it. I saw it. It's good. Um What we added to the food doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Our disease is gonna go up a little bit. 
The squalor is growing because of the sawmill. You, I, I think you you fix squalor by adding more shelter. I, I mean, I assume, right? Uh, that sounds right. Okay. How's our coal? Okay, we're pretty good on coal. We're not perfect, but we're pretty good. Coal remaining 147 weeks. Okay, we have some time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice. Okay. That's good. Downside? We do not have the logistical output to increase any extra volume of Frostland teams. Right now, okay, we're pretty good. Food is stockpiling. Supplies is stockpiling. No sick people. Heat is fine. Shelter is good. Um... This... There might be a whiteout coming. I'm gonna do one more thing with the... Just a little bit more housing block, just to help a little bit. Goods could be better. Uh, asbestos line, new district. Wait, new district? Oh, that, that, that was just the research, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, nice. Uh, what about workers' housing? Heat demand is higher. Nope. Uh, no, we need survival in this one. Waste heat conversion? Heat output is extremely increased per expanded extraction district, expand, expanded industrial district. Heat recycle. Oh, fascinating. You can increase your heat by the, the expanding in. We can become warm and survive through the power of industry. Resource production efficiency is in significantly increased. The excess heat produced by industrial machines will be reinjected back into the machines. Uh, you know, this might actually be a recycling one. I think we need to be helpful. Like, I think we need to, like, save ourselves in that way. Oh, it's right there. Oh, God, it's it's actually right there. It's right there. Population growth. Proving conditions in your city or researching new methods to fight the most pressing problems. Okay. Other than the goods, we're actually pretty chill in terms of... We've actually solved a lot of our problems. The the, the general fear of um, heat is certainly a thing, uh, but we're stockpiling lots of other options. The goods are a bit iffy, but, um, I mean, like, we, we kind of pulled ourselves out a little bit. Uh, we do need to support the foragers. We promised them we would so, we do need to do that. Exploration, trails, built in sections, and then outposts make from the, the trails, right? Wait. Oh, that's fine. It was to disable it. Can do a new law. Our shelter seems pretty good. I'm going for it. If our shelter it dies here, we're screwed. If I if I did not have as much shelter as I thought it what we did, we are screwed.
I think we're good. I mean, worst comes to worst, we could just make another housing district, but that would increase our heat requirements, and we shouldn't do that. <sighs> Honestly, an extraction district is just is what I need right now, but I don't have the workforce. Actually, come and think of it. I don't need this group to be on full. We can pull them on half. We, we have 15-15. We can actually drop them and be totally fine and save us with a bunch of extra workforce. Well, kind of a bunch of extra workforce. Should I just, like, uh, break my promise to the foragers? I mean... I could. <laughs> okay, we are actually insanely good on food right now. We can half shift this, no, no problem. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Brittle wood. Material production becomes inefficient. Our heat demand has doubled. Fellas? What's the New York model? Apex workers. Why not? Apex Workers Controversy. Steward, our guards have apprehended a researcher named Max Morkheimer. He was caught trying to destroy documents regarding Apex Workers. During the interrogation state with this research, we opened the gates to insanity extremity. It should be destroyed, never thought of again. I suppose call him a lunatic, not to listen to. They deem the research essential for the state's prosperity. Oh, it's the new work model, not the New York model. Very well, I'll cancel the damn project. Wait, what does it mean? This harsh world has no place for weakness. We will solely rely on the fittest and strongest workers and push them to achieve their maximum potential. Oh. That, um... That makes a bit more sense. Wait, what about the goods factories here? Okay. H holy heat. Um... Everything seems to be spending at the moment. I I want to overdrive the generator, but I don't think it's a good idea. No way. They're not going to let me build, are they? They'd be insane. Oh, that cold is... Oh, that cold. Oh, that cold. A vote on heat recycling will be held in 10 weeks. No, no, no. Now is not the time to vote. On removing heat except You fucking idiots! You fucking morons! Are you shitting me?
We're keeping it! The proposed law has been approved. Yeah, the tension is increasing. Greatly increased increased by severe cold. Yeah, yeah, no, I got that. I got that. There's no way they'll actually let me make it make a fucking extraction district, are they? Wow, they just will let me do it. Promise the forge is broken. Oh, shit. Well, it's fine. I, I, I was nice to them. Okay. Hey, look at that. Uh, our heat issues are getting better. You like the works for us to build this. Oh, my God. My materials. Lack of workforce. Yeah. That's right, wood is brittle. Refurbished goods factory. Yay. How lovely. <gasps> Generator upgrade. Not available in this preview. Balls! Logistics bay? Oh, it's the Frostland. Woodworks. I don't have the heat requirements. We gotta be the we gotta we gotta work with the foragers here. They're the ones who don't have many much heat issues. The whiteout is almost over. There's another whiteout coming. Two hundred and seventy six people have frozen to death in the city. Holy shit. So just action. <sighs> Promise research blasting coal mine. Okay. The whiteout has passed. Thank fucking God. Holy. Is there anything else I can even- I even should do here? Okay, hold on. We need- we need more- Oh god. It's blocked by the storm. It'll be back sooner or later. We don't have the folks to go out, though. Oh, we will if we actually undo the worker requirements here. But... Like... Wait. Why did I, why did I lose some? Hold on. Right, 10 output there. 10 output there. What am I... 10 for the coal mine. That's right, it's the coal mine. Right, I got the increased logistical, or no, that's refurbishing goods factory. I lack the workforce. God damn it, I need more workers. Fuck. 
500 may have they may have died in the storm. You know what? That's a you know what? That's a damn good point. Fellas. Fellas. I think it's a time we allow all outsiders. Bring them in. Everyone's allowed. The official tally is in the vote passes. Okay, we're stockpiling wood, which is good. We can we can hold off on that for a little bit. Refurbishing goods factory sounds like a good place to add. To assist with the, the general goods currently going on. We can build that shit up. Extraction district was damaged due to excessive squ squalor and needs repairs. Deteriorating infrastructure. Shit. Okay. I can still repair it, though. How, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. It, are, is squal squalor is just like, like homelessness and shit, right? Or is it bad living conditions? Or is it living in squalor? It's bad living conditions. Okay. How the hell will I? So I, I guess I've always I've always heard like the homeless live in squalor. And so I think I think that's kind of like where I, I got it together. Um, okay, well, shit. How do I? How do I increase? Okay, we're squalor probably should be here somewhere. I could probably look at. There we go. Citizens have endured polluted air and overwhelming dirt and filth in the city. Not enough is raised with not enough materials to demand the maintenance for the city. Increases the Z. Oh, so it's just a material issue. Oh well, then I'll undo the half shifts. I was about to say I thought my squalor was fine. In fact, why is my squalor so bad? It's just, oh, it's just because... It's because we're using mechanized sawmills. To save a lack of required deposit. We're out of coal. We're out of coal, boys. Pack it up. Right, the mechanized squal uh, sawmill is uh, squalor is significantly increased. Okay, well, we're, if we're gonna wait, what? Oh no! Why exactly? When I click on this extraction district, it has me build more pieces, like over here. Oh, no, it's because I need to frost break the area. There we go. Okay, so the squalor is a bit of an issue. We're stockpiling goods very well now, which is actually... Yeah, we're actually chilling really, really solidly. Um, so I guess we could start, like, using our heat... Our heat stamps are no longer our issue. We're actually doing really well with that. So... If anything... We could probably start using it to fund people's stuff. Like you, Technocrats. Here you go, buddy. Okay, and then you guys can... Increase your area. Okay, then we need to build you that deep shaft coal mine. Shell- okay, we're stockpiling everything currently. Except for coal. It's the only thing currently not being stockpiled. 
Okay, everybody, I got some- I got some bad news. Our shifts are gonna need to adjust. Resource production efficiency is slightly decre- oh, no, it's fine. Uh... Listen, children? Oh, god damn it. It's because the- it's because the technocrats are- are now a bigger name. We might need it. You know what? You know what? You know what it might be time for? It might be time to mess with the logistics again. 15 Frostland team's outputs. I actually think I need the smaller one because I need the, um, the lack of stuff. Ice Bloods begin protesting. I will repeal except all outsiders. Oh, come on. That's my housing district and my food production. I hate you. Fine. Allow select outsiders. Negotiate with the foragers here. Give me a four. And, I, and I'll help you with like your- that won't work. That won't work either. Oh god, am I gonna have to force again? You are despised. Lovely. Lovely. I'm about to get steamed. The measure passes. I'm about to get steamed. What's going on over here? What's wrong with this? A resource deposit is nearly depleted. My research is off because the Ice Bloods control the research institute. Why do the Ice Bloods control the research institute? They, they, they can't research shit! Unfinished state ongoing production. There we go. Okay, you want me to research a blasting coal mine, was it? Is that like in the advanced coal mines thing? Another outcome is being research has been researched. Change community see other potential oh come on. oh no. I've already researched the other one. I can't research a new option once I picked one, apparently. <sighs> Wait. Wait, no, no, no. It could be that because I'm currently researching the logistics bay. Yeah, no, it might be because I'm currently researching into something else. We'll wait till that's done, and we'll see. How did the steward give in to these nut jobs? Oh god, the technocrats are mad. Steward, the people no longer trust you. If the situation doesn't improve, the council will demand a vote of confidence in speaking your leadership. If you fail that vote, it will be the end of your rule. I 
I can infiltrate them with guards. I will I will let you do stuff. They want 503 heat stamps in order for me to give them their stuff. They want 500 and three fucking heat stamps. Are you shitting me? Just for me to make them happy. The I think I understand why why people become dictators. Trust restored. They love me. Red, red, red. A broken vow. Ignore. Logistics Bay is done. Ooh, scout training. Exploration cost is decreased. Time is decreased. We'll do, we'll do, uh... We'll get, we'll give an ice blood a thing. Hold on. Logistics. Automate Logistics Bay. Ten teams. Let's go. I am totally full up on, um... On, on stuff. Say there's a whole bunch of people. Why are you turned off here? Disabled needs repairs. Balls. Got it. Oh, hey, okay, we got more. We got more folks now. Expedition, launch it. Survival. That's right. They want me to add forged additives. Oh, come on, negotiate. God damn them. I'd give out you chat, but I think this is a good advertisement for your run for mayor. Hashtag Bricky for mayor 2024. It won't pass. It won't pass. It won't pass. Bricky 2004, let's fucking go chat. It won't pass. I'm curious if I try, if I go for the vote, the if we fail, if that'll like, like, they'll be like, well, you tried. I don't think it's going to work. No, I have to actually pass it. They want me to actually pass it. Okay, we're spending a lot of food. Wait, lack of required deposit. We're out of food. We're out of food. We are out of food. Luckily, we have this new district right here. We have a brand new district right here. Right, I'm gonna build a bunch more automated logistics base. Scout training, hell yeah. Scout headquarters? Cost is extremely decreased. Harvester hangers. Harvesting efficiency is slightly increased. Or harvesting is slightly increased. Filtration towers? That's for squalor. We'll do that. My relations are getting a little bit better. Okay, yeah, our food is low, uh, but we should be fine. We build a, a big drum house there and then we expand the food area. Like so. How's our coal gang going? We can probably make a nice little bit of, uh... Okay, the cold... The cold is on its way. Brother, I can't... I can't... I can't do this. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let it run.
Okay, the filtration towers are going. Waste management facility. What about society? I've done nothing for society yet. You know what? Maybe that's why the people kind of hate me. I haven't done anything for society. Hospitals. That might... You know what? That's not bad. Hospitals are kind of dope. Or watchtowers. I don't mind watchtowers either. What, what, what's the youth got? Dutiful youth? Or liberated you, youth? Dutiful youth! Percentage of active workers is increased! Let's go! How are things going on out here, huh? Promise the forge is broken. They'll be fine. They love me. Forced the vote was not passed by the delegates. Dutiful youth was increased. Let's go. Parenthood. Population growth, the dedicated motherhood. Population growth is increased. The percentage of active workers is marginally decreased. <sighs> Communal parenthood. Percentage of active workers is increased. Population growth is marginally decreased. They will send their kids to be raised in city-run facilities, assuring their well-being. That sounds fine. The state can teach my kid. And no problem with that. Okay. Let's roll that back real quick and do that and then put another one of these things because we need, we need more food. In fact... Oh dear. Oh dear. That's fine, we can work with that. Oh God. We're still stockpiling food. Oh. I'm sorry, I, th I thought, uh, for the quickest glance, I saw relations with technocrats, women. And I'm like, what about them? I don't have- I don't have relations with them. I don't- I don't- I have- I have no idea what they're referring to. <laughs> oh. I think that's the end of the game. I think that's the end of the demo. Yeah, that you're right. They, they they specifically said 300 weeks. They specifically said 300 weeks. I did it. I won. Uh, we, we we survived. We made our 300 weeks. We were a little close to um being steamed and murdered. We were, we were a little close on that one. I won't lie. But we did kind of do it. We we I mean we did do it. I we 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 we're all right. We did all right. This still has the usual frostpunk um situations that I was expecting it to have. We did live though. We did live. We were not steamed. I had some trust. Probably should have spent You know, I kept having a workforce issue and I then I realized that I never put anything into society. So that kind of makes a little bit of sense. That was pretty good. I, you know, I gotta be honest. Uh, if you're like a big Frostpunk 1 fan, it might seem a little bit different because it's definitely a lot more macro scaled. Uh, honestly, yeah, my only real complaint right there is that the UI sucks. The, the, the fucking iPad Apple UI. 
that's about it. That was actually a really fascinating uh, way to play the game. That's a, that's a genuine sequel. And that's a genuinely real sequel with actual different gameplay adjustments and meat. And the art still bangs, the music still bangs. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'm... I mean, yeah, I mean... I, I gotta say, big thumbs up. I mean, you know, they gave me a code for this. You know, like, like a code for the beta, but I wasn't... I, just so you're clear, I wasn't paid or anything. I just got the code. Uh, it, it's pretty solid. I, 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 I enjoyed myself. That was great. Uh, so thumbs up from me. Anyway, chat, uh, viewers, everyone in between, uh, thanks so much for the, uh, for watching, uh, watching today. I am going to send you off, uh, to, uh, to go have a, have a good rest of your, uh, rest of your time for the most part. Um, I don't really know what else I want to do. So we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna hit it. You all have a good rest of your night chat. Uh, and, uh, and I'll, I'll see you, um, I'll see you tomorrow. We might play Dark Tide because Dark Tide's getting an update. So, uh, we might do tomorrow. All right, chat. You have a good one. Later, gamers.